Another Tuesday and another Tuesday that I didn't win. Where was I? Zone 2? Look, this week, Zone 2. That's practically run it up for me, let's be honest. Because um, I tend to live in Zone 3 lately. I've had a few over the last couple of years where I've been really, really close to the winning cross. But that hasn't happened now for about a year and a half, at least. But Zone 2 for me, uh, yeah, funny enough, I just looked at our average coordinate for last Saturday. And the average, I think the average was in zone one because it was about 30 something out on the X and about 20 something on the Y. So our average last week was uh, was pretty good and I think it was zone one. But I took it upon myself to go further to the right and obviously made a mess of it and uh, ended up in zone two. But I had half my money back. I had 75 pence back. So that can go towards this week's kind of. As you know, I never spend uh, more than a pound or two on um, BOTB. I used to. I used to spend a fair bit. Um, yeah, I used to really mount up. I was always in the gold uh, tier, but um, there's a few things happened that I didn't like, and I thought, well, I still want to be in it. I still want to play it, so uh, I just play the absolute minimum. And occasionally I play the midweek. Uh, now and again I'll play if they have a one-off. Um, right, let's have a look at the judging, see what they did. All right, so here's a judging video. Uh, there's eight judges again this week. Matt is back. Matt is back. Is it eight judges? Yes, it is. Yeah. Uh, bit of a cluster down here in this area here. There's one up there to the right. There's one right away up there, which really doesn't make sense to where this fella on the left is looking. I'm not entirely sure who that belongs to. Um, looking at the judges, I can take a guess. Uh, but there's one there a bit out to the left as well, so what do I think he'll do? I think he's going to take that top one out, because it's too far away. Well, that's if he sticks to how it always used to be done. So, you know, we knew as players what to expect. Uh, but it does change randomly to sort of suit himself, but I think that top one's going to have to go. Not sure about that top left one, because is it balancing out the right one? Hmm, that's touch and go here. Now, having said that, I think this cluster is uh, is a fair cluster here, so probably both of them. Definitely the top one, possibly two of them. Let's have a look. Let me skip to the end and see what's going on. Yeah, that's what's happened. He's taken out the top one and the one on the left, too. So there's, there's quite a reasonable cluster around that area. That so, sort of makes a little bit of sense. Certainly this cluster does. Uh, and that one on the right is only slightly far out, isn't it? But then that's the one on the right I think is feasible because both of those players could be looking at that. That one that was all the way up the top there made no sense to this player on the left. He couldn't possibly be looking up there, but he's... Uh, uh, so he's gone with the cluster. So judging-wise, whether I agree with where the winning cross is or not is besides the point. Uh, has the judging been fair? And I think in this case, because he took away those two that are away from the cluster, uh, then yeah, it was fair. Okay, let's have a look at this week's picture. Now I want to say, oh, this is a much better picture, but I'm not convinced. On first look, I don't think it's too bad because uh, we can see that this guy here in the right in the stripes, he's looking straight up, and because this, this, if you look at his eyes, he's sort of. That eye looks as though he's looking straight up, which would possibly be the edge of the ball. Uh, that eye's looking straight up, which would be the other edge of the ball. So, you know, I've gone in the middle of, of those two. This guy on the left over here is the one that's going to throw it out. Because, of course, this all depends now again, like it always does, on the height. So, my first cross is there, because if I try and draw a line up that way from his peaky little eyeballs then he's looking in that direction can see that one as well so if i put him through my first cross but there does it make sense um yeah it does i mean that his left eye maybe could be looking a little bit higher but then his right eye no would be a little bit lower but either way that cross would again be in the middle of his two so that's what I am at the moment. Uh, it might well be higher, but my thing with this is I think it's relatively close to this guy in, a, in the stripes. I think it's close to his head. 
So I don't think it's too high. Well, I don't think it's too low either, because if it was too close to his head, it would overlap his forehead and stuff. So that's what I am at the moment. I think that's that's a happy average for me there at the moment. That's two eight two six one two six three. I'll stick that as the first comment in the comment section. Um, but yeah, I probably will leave this now until Saturday when we get some more crosses in and uh, have a look at the uh, the average this Saturday. Because I think it was quite good last week. It worked out okay, and I think a few of you might have done quite well. So let me know where you get on, guys. Um, and apologise if I don't get back to you because. I don't get the notifications these days as somebody's left a, a, a comment. And we seem to be having a hell of a problem lately with people leaving coordinates in that um, loads of them are getting wiped and I'm missing out on a lot of them. And if you're concerned about leaving a coordinate because you don't want people to know what your coordinate is, then just leave one, you know, in that general area. It doesn't have to be exact. Just leave one in a general area so we can see what general area people are going for. Well, that's where I am so far on that one. Let me get the uh, target. Oh, I think I got a new way of getting the target now. Is it? Uh... Yeah, it's a new way of me getting the target now because there's big letters under the picture saying show or hide draggable target. Just press T. And there we go. So if I move that over to where my cross is there. Well, come on, I'll keep still. Over there. Are they looking at that? Zone 1, at least. At the very least, are they looking at Zone 1? Well, certainly Zone 2. But evenly. So I think, yeah. Yeah. Uh, the cross would be in Zone 1 by there, I think. Uh, what about this guy on the left? Who's sneakily looking out the corner of his eye. Yeah, that's feasible, I think. This guy in white, Joe, with his back to us, um, obviously can't quite tell what he's looking. But... If you look at the angle of his head, and I don't think he's far off looking at that sort of height. Although it does look as though he's looking much further to the left, but then he's going to be photoshopped in after the D, so, you know, don't let that through you. All right, so there we are. Let's have a look at uh, Rev Compsen, which I still haven't won this year. So, as mentioned on Saturday then, I got one on this. What is it? Audi R8, because 65 grand cash alternative. One on this, a Volvo, and I got three. I went for three after on the uh, Auto Trail Motorhome because it comes with 10 grand, in which case I'd keep the motorhome if I got 10 grand to go with it. And then, uh, well, last night, they added some more ready for next Monday. And this may surprise you, but there's nothing really much there that I fancied. Uh, there was no big cash alternatives. Um, just checking that because quite often I miss them. So I just, just to be in the draw, I just went for one on this Tiguan R and two grand. It's just got the one. It's 10,000 tickets, six pound order of ticket. Of that. I gotta be in it and I can't not be in it. I'll just have one. I tend to prefer the auto draws lately, if I'm honest. Let's have a look at those. I haven't got one on a Merc. I did have a couple on this Octavia VRS because it's the diesel one, so it's fast and cheap to run. Uh, same as this Golf GTD with the DSG gearbox. Uh, that's fast and does about 50, 60 to the gallon. Don't like these abafts, never did. Uh, I'm too old to drive around in a, in, in a convertible. Um, this caught my eye. I had to have three tickets on this. It's unusual, I would have thought, for them to put a camper van in the auto drawers. I would have thought that would have been in the, in the main drawers, a big deal. Um, but this comes to, what is it, 497, so five out of ticket, 10,000 tickets. Uh, and it comes with five grand as well. However, if you look at the inside, there's no way you're ever going to get to sleep in this van. Let me show you. Look at the colour on that. There's no way you can get to sleep, is there? You never need to put a light on inside the van. The rest of the field will know what's going on. They'll know you're there, because that'll just be glowing in the middle of the field in the middle of the night. Good God. I mean, I like the uh, I like the grey. I do like the grey. matches my hair. But it's... Um, that, is, that is one bright colour. You'd want to keep the doors shut all the time, wouldn't you, so people couldn't see inside and go, Jesus Christ! But yeah, other than that, um, I quite like the van. It's got the pop top. It's got um, the double bed at the top. 
fold out bed on the bottom, nice fridge. I can see the vent there for the uh, diesel heater. Uh, what else was I going to say? Oh, it's got a TV in this one as well. A drop down TV from the ceiling. A media player thing. Or oh, it might be just a media player. Well, I'm assuming it's a TV as well. So uh, you can chill out, roll your bed out, get a cold beer out of the fridge and uh, watch a bit of telly. And hopefully if you're drunk enough, you'll be able to sleep and not get distracted by the furniture. Uh, okay, that's it from me then. Let me know you got on and uh, if you can, uh, leave a coordinate for Saturday so we can do another video. And ideally, put your coordinates in a sentence because I think what's happening is and I've said this before, that I think what happens is YouTube sees just random numbers into a comment and assumes that it's some sort of spam or somebody linking to something or selling something. So uh, you might have to put some words in there, something like, uh, these are my shit coordinates, and then, you know, put your coordinates in there. Or these are the winning coordinates, whatever. Lovely. Uh, thanks, guys, for watching then, and good luck.